Greetings and good morning. It seems a little bit funny for me to say welcome to you when I'm the newcomer. <laughs> so thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm Amelia Arthur, your new associate rector, and I am just thrilled and humbled and excited to be with you and be here among you and starting to get to know you and this church and this city. It's been a whirlwind few weeks for me and my family. Uh, two weeks ago, my kids and I moved from St. Paul, Minnesota to our new house over on Hanover. And during these last two weeks, we've been settling in, they've been starting school, and you all have been exceptionally welcoming and loving to us. People who you do, did not even yet know you have brought us dinner and gift baskets for the kids. You've made recommendations about pediatricians and where to get hair done and nails done. <laughs> You've loved us and cared for us even though we are still very much strangers. And that love and that care has been a blessing. So I want to root everything I say today in that love that we have already felt from this community. When John asked me to preach this morning, or, or I think actually really told me that I was preaching this morning, <laughs> I thought, oh, okay, no pressure. I don't even know them yet. But like I said, I wasn't aware of the love and care and welcome that I would have felt leading up to these days. And so I do feel that while we are still getting to know each other, I do feel like this place feels familiar. And I do know that we share some things in common because I've heard you speak about them. We share in common a belief in this God who calls us to love. We share in common the belief in the wisdom of our sacred scripture and a belief in the presence of the Spirit of God who abides with us and guides us in our lives. A few weeks ago, I was at the vestry retreat for just a little while, and during that vestry retreat, members of this congregation looked back at what had been going on over the last couple of years, certainly looked back at this time of pandemic, what were the lessons learned, and then what are the things that are still life-giving and good here? What are the things that are being made new that we might be called to bring forward? And on this Sunday before Palm Sunday, that idea of both the old and the new echoed in our scriptures this morning is really, I think, an idea about intersection because we, have, we are at an intersectional moment. We are at a crossroads, not just in our liturgical season as we wrap up Lent and look toward Palm Sunday and Holy Week and Easter, but we're at an intersectional moment in the life of this community. We're at a moment where we will ask ourselves, who are we now after being formed and shaped by this thing that has gone on in our world over the last few years? And in this moment, the words that we hear in scripture today are ever comforting. We are reminded by the prophet Isaiah about who God is and what God does, and indeed what God is doing and has been doing and will continue to do among us. God is the God who makes things new. God is the God who makes a way in the wilderness and makes rivers in the desert. God is the God from whom life springs forth even in the places where it seems like life wouldn't have a chance. Our God is a God who promises that life and abundance for each and every one of us, for our faith communities, and for then who we are as doers of God's good work in the world. 
Our God is a God who brings hope in the wilderness, who brings peace in the midst of conflict, who calls us to joy even when we have been weeping. Ultimately, our God is a God of love, and God calls us to love one another the same way that God loves us and makes those promises for us. And so, like I have said, I've seen you love that way to me. And I can't wait to see the ways in which we will love God's world together over this time of ministry together. The life cycle of any institution is one that's usually cyclical, but particularly in the church where we encounter these same seasons each and every year, The life cycle of our place together as God's people is a spiral in which as we are moving forward, we re-encounter ourselves each year with new eyes and new perspectives. As we re-encounter, as we come to this intersection of almost being done with Lent and looking towards Holy Week, of almost being done with the pandemic, of almost being to summer and warmer weather and more time together, of almost being in the place where all of that new life has been ushered in. As we come to that intersection and look at it, may we remember that our God is a God of love, our God helps make that way, and may we go forward together into these last days of Lent, into Holy Week, into Easter, and ultimately into the life that God is calling us to live together in this place and for God's world. Let's go. Amen.